Tangerine takes place on Christmas Eve. Um, it's about a transgender sex <clears throat> worker who finds out from her friend that her boyfriend has been cheating on her while she's been away in jail, and she goes on a mission to find this cisgender woman who's a part of this affair. And it's a comedy, um, even though it doesn't sound like one. Um, and it's a wild romp, a, a, a very um, an odyssey through the streets of Los Angeles. There is an LGBT center which is located about one block away from the intersection in which this story takes place. Um, Chris Bergash, who co-wrote the screenplay with me, we had to, we were just basically scouring the area looking for people to speak with and collaborate with. And it was one day that we went into the courtyard of this LGBT center and we, f and we saw Maya there. And I saw Maya from a distance and I thought, there's something about her. She's special. She has not only the, this physicality, but also the, um, she was commanding the conversation that she was a part of. She had that, that it factor thing. And I, I went up to Maya and we introduced ourselves and she expressed this enthusiasm about our project that, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for somebody who would jump on board. Not that I, somebody I didn't have to like convince. Um, and um, next thing you know, Maya's helping us out, telling us stories, anecdotes, introducing us to people from the neighborhood. And um, that was a process that went on for several months until we developed this, came up with the screenplay and went into production. Maya requested it for it to be just as entertaining for the women who are actually working that area as it would be for general audiences, you know? And that's mm -hmm. something that's, you know, it's important. It's, it, she didn't want to do just a plight of movie with this. She wanted to present this subject matter in a pop sensibility, a pop style, so it would, would appeal to a greater audience. Words can't really describe how I feel. I mean, of course, it's like, it's very exciting and it's a lot of work, which I, you know, I love, you know, what I do. But yeah, I think it's just, it's it's really exciting. And I don't want to say it's overwhelming because it's not, but it is, but it's not. Like, you know what I mean?